Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in the Selenite series today, we are going to talk about what are the different user actions are available and how to perform those user actions with Selenite. For example, drag and drop, right click. For example, I want to move to a specific element. How to do that? If you know in Selenium, we have actions class is available. And with the help of actions class, we can perform all these different types of user actions. So how to do the exactly same thing with Selenite. So in Selenite, for example, let's say I want to move to a specific element. So how to do that? So let's see, this is uh, spicejet.com. I'm going to launch this application. And uh, there is one main menu is available here. You can see that add-ons. When you mouse over or let's see, move to this particular element add-ons, then you want to click on a spice max or pizza services or a spice assurance or whatever you want to do it so how to do that so this is called parent menu and the child menu handling as well okay so i'll do one thing let me just launch spicejet.com and then we have to do what we have to create the web element of add-ons it means we have to move to this particular element so right click on it and go to inspect this guy and here you can see add-ons text is available with div so i can quickly create a web element with the help of xpath so i'll be writing dollar by dot xpath here and uh, this is my xpath this is a div text that i can use it here div text is equal to this one so this is a web element i don't want to perform any action on it right now and this a dollar we know it will return one selenide element in selenium we have web element here we have selenide element so I'm going to store inside the Selenite element a reference something over here. Let's see, this is my add-on reference that I have created. Okay, and then we have one direct method which is available in Selenite. You simply call this actions method. See, you can see this actions method coming from Selenite and then various method chaining user actions, you can perform it over here. So which action that you want to perform? I want to perform move to element and then move to element having two overloaded method by using x offset and y offset you can pass the uh, you know x coordinate and the y coordinate from the left from the element and from the above the element in the y offset but i don't want to use offset here i want to use direct target element my target element is what the target element the add-on target element that you have created and it means we have using one single action over here you can see this is returning one actions over here okay and which is actually coming from selenium and then we know that whenever we have to use actions class we have to use dot build dot perform so i'm going to use dot build will build this particular move to element and then finally i'm going to use dot perform which will actually perform this move to element on the user on the <clears throat> from the user side uh, on the website on the application okay and let's see if it is really working or not and i'll do one thing immediately the browser will be closed so for the safer side, I really want to see that, okay, is it really moving to this mouse or, I mean, really moving to this particular element or not. So I'm putting thread.sleep for 5 seconds and let's see if this is working or not. So run as testng, spicejet got launched and uh, see it should move to the add-ons, you can see that and then the sub-menus are getting displayed over here. Perfect. Now after showing the sub-menus, for example, I want to click on uh, Spice Max or let's see Visa Services. So what you do, right click and then inspect visa services. And here also div class visa services available. I want to click on it. So I'll do one thing. I just simply create um, something like this after mouse over. For example, this is my visa uh, services. And then this visa services, the text is returned here. You can see visa services text, copy this and then simple replace over here in next path. And then when you create this web element and you just need to click on it. So simple do a dot click. Okay. So let's see it is clicking on visa services or not. So let's run it and let's see. And uh, once the page is fully loaded, it will move to add-ons and then see it's clicking on visa services and you can see the visa services page is getting displayed over here. Perfectly fine. And the test got passed. So it's very simple, very straightforward with actions class. There are various math with actions method. Actually, there are various methods are available. See, I'll show you once again. Actions dot build, click, click, hold, <coughs> context, click, right click, double click, drag and drop. Everything you can do it over here. Let's see some other uh, concepts also with, with respect to actions. 
I'll do one thing. Let me create one more uh, test method in the same class. And let's see, this is move to element. Now this is, I'm going to talk about a drag and drop. Okay, so I'll write drag and drop test here. And for drag and drop, uh, we can take this application. Just copy this URL. And I'm going to use this URL over here. And then I need to do what? I need to drag this particular target element and or you can see source element and move it over here and drop it to the so, uh, target element so this is means this is your uh, you know first source element and drop it over here at the target location so how many actions i'm performing if i ask you manually i'm using click and hold move it and then drop it right so what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to create two web elements so first is this so let's inspect this guy and here you can see the draggable id is available that's good and then droppable id is available for the second element so i'll do one thing that uh, i'm going to create let me just close this remove this and then i'm going to create dollar and then by dot id that i'm going to use id is this so this is my i'll write this is my string and this is my source element okay is equal to this not a string it's selenide element <laughs> not a string sorry about that okay and then i'm going to create one more uh, selenide element that is for your target element so this is my target element and the id of the target element is uh, droppable so you simply write droppable over here so i have created two web elements or two selenide element actually and then i'm going to use this method actions method dot see this there is a chain that I have to use click and hold which element the click and hold the source element the first element after that what is the second action that you want to perform to move to element what is the target element this is my target element and then after that what do you want after that I want to release it that's it so how many user actions I have used action number one action number two and action number three so we are using three actions so first all these actions you have to build it together and then you have to perform all the actions in the same order that you have written so i have created first action then move to element action and then the release and then finally you use build and then a perform over here like this so let's see it is working or not so i'll do one thing i'll just put a thread dot sleep of five seconds and i'll just run this particular test let's run it again so yep see the drag and drop is happening absolutely fine there is one direct method also available so if you really want to comment it out this one let me just comment it out and then as i told you that you have one actions dot see this method drag and drop method is available directly it's saying what is your source element and what is your target element this time we have only one action so again dot build and dot perform do not forget to write dot build and dot perform otherwise it will not work so let's quickly run it again and let's see it is doing a drag and drop or not so either you use three methods in the chain or one method drag and drop that also you can use it and see this is drag and drop which is happening absolutely fine here so this is about a drag and drop right now let's write another method for a right click right click is also called a context click okay in html i'm going to talk about let's see this is my right click test for right click test you can pick this application see this one i just copy this html and uh, paste it over here perfect and then i have to do a right click on this element okay not on a specific uh, white page or white space i cannot automate this thing i cannot write save as print with selenium i cannot click on print and save as i can do back and forward with selenite or selenium but i don't want to bother about these things okay so what i'm saying that right click me this element i have to click see if i'm doing a single tap single click it's not doing anything it's not performing any action but the moment i do a right click see this this is also called a context menu or double click so you can see simple context menu it means i have to do a double click then only the menu items will be displayed over here like this so how to do that okay so this is my application and then i'm going to inspect this guy the right click me this one and here you can see the span is available with right click me so this is span text is available so i can quickly say okay this is my span 
and the text is this so i'm going to create a web element first and then i'm going to give a name for example let's see this is my right click element something like this okay let's remove this and then i'm going to use this actions method dot and there is a method the context click see this context click is also overloaded this context click is says performs a context click at the current mouse location it means where exactly the current mouse location it's there it will do a right click over here but that i don't want to do that i want to do a right click or context click on a specific element so that's why the second method is available on which element what is your target element my target element is this element how many actions we are using only one action so you simple write dot build and dot perform perfect so let's see it is doing a right click on a specific element or not okay let me just uh, terminate it i'm just going to execute this one not the entire test class run it again so here you can see see it's doing a right click on a specific element perfect now i'll do one thing i'll again write actions okay and then do a context click actions class and action method will never work so dot build dot perform is mandatory to use so run as once again okay so first it's doing a drag and drop which is fine because i have executed the entire class which is fine okay and uh, yeah this is also fine and then the jquery menu and see it's doing a right click on somewhere on the page where exactly the current mouse location right guys so all my three test cases are absolutely fine so please don't use this i don't want to use this one i want to use do a context click or right click on a specific element and then edge good to go perfect so this is why the actions classes are being used you can do a lot of other uh, methods are available you can do your own experiments over here actions dot see uh double click also you can do that double click on a specific element you can do that drag and drop you have already seen in fact you can do the a uh, key down key up these things also you can do that move by offset maybe i can give you some other example later on okay you can pause that's not important you can ignore it release we have already seen that in fact you can do a dot link and dot send keys also with actions class you know that so that also you can try and tick you can uh, ignore it it's not that important okay so these are the different methods are available inside this actions and then you can just perform all the user actions in selenite like that i hope the use uh, the video was useful for you Please subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you have any other issue with respect to user actions and the selenite. I'll definitely look into it. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.